Hello, today I'm sharing the best curly hair styling tools on a budget. Everything you need that are just the basics for getting started on your healthy curly hair journey that actually work. Hello, so let me be the first to tell you that curly hair does not have to be expensive. So whether you are on your own curly hair journey or if you are taking care of a little one with curls, then these are your curly hair basics to get you started that are all completely budget friendly. All of these items are less than $25 and you may already have some of them. So if you're new on your curly hair journey or just getting started or just doing your research before you want to get started, there is a lot of information out there and I'm going to break it down for you. This is the very simple, basic tools that you will need to get started that work. And then when you perfect your technique and learn more about product ingredients, what works with your environment, what works with your lifestyle, all these things take time. Then you can decide where you want to invest on those luxury items. So let's get started. First, let's talk about brushes. These are the simplest of all. Now I found all of these at my local grocery store. You can find them at Walmart, Target, $2.00 rat tail comb. This is perfect for sectioning and for my root lift diffusing. Um, and I'll link all these videos down below where you see me actually using these exact tools. So this brush is a $5 Revlon brush that I found at the grocery store. I use this for detangling in the shower. It's very easy to wash. There's no pad. And it's been great. It's been all I've needed. So if I ever buy another brush, it's going to be compared to this one, the results, because this is going to be my baseline. Then from there, I'll compare how much better or more of a difference any of these higher end brushes make. Then <laughs> the hair pick. This is so simple and you know, $2 to really fluff out those roots. I love it. You'll see this in my root volume video as well. Then on to styling clips. Now this is something that I haven't heard talked about a lot, but I have to mention because I use them so much and it's really changed the hairstyling game for me. So the first um, styling clips that I bought were these salon clips. They're somewhat loose. They work best for me on dry hair. So I use these for sectioning, keeping my hair off my face when I'm putting on my makeup. Um, washing my face or I also use them as root clips when I'm drying my hair as well. So these are about five dollars. Then these are some other sectioning clips which I'll show a little bit closer up because these do have a little grip um, at the thumb area and then these I love to use for wet styling. So when my hair is wet I'm able to grip these without having them slip off my hand <laughs> and I can section my hair up. Um, I'll show you here in this clip of how I'm sectioning my hair to apply product. So you can buy a packet of each of these for under $10 as well. The next item you probably already have. So this is free, which is a t-shirt. So the first thing I learned on my curly hair journey is not to use a traditional bath towel to wrap up my hair in a turban and let it dry. Don't do that. It takes out all the moisture from your hair. The hair then sticks to the little particles on the towel that's sticking out and just causes frizz, causes that dryness that we're all trying to avoid. So that was the biggest revelation was to use a t-shirt to dry my hair. Now I have since been looking into different types of t-shirt towels and I'll do a review once I've collected a few of those to see what are the differences and, and which ones I like better than others. But I really only use them to micro plop my hair. But before I even get to micro plopping, how do I get out of the shower with soaking wet hair, right? I will put up my hair with one of these sectioning clips and put a clear shower cap over my head so I can get out, dry, do whatever else I need to do before I complete my styling process. 
Then when I take that, that clear shower cap off, I use my suctioning clip again to hang the shower cap onto my shower curtain to let it drip dry. Multiple uses for this thing. <laughs> and then of course the hair dryer. So my hair dryer is over 10 years old. It's a cheap pro. It's worked the same all this time. It's traveled with me. It's it's been great. So it's the hair dryer that came with the diffuser attachment already. And that's what makes it affordable. If you start with a lower end one, depending on your budget, you can decide what you like and what you don't like about it. I, I definitely recommend checking if it has some temperature settings, at least if it has a couple of options, then that would be a better one to get. So that's it with the brushes, all these brushes under $10, the styling clips under $10, a t-shirt free, you already have that. Shower cap, you may already have that as well. I do have, I did spend $5 on a colorful little shower cap, but this one I use for days when I'm not washing my hair. So this is just to protect my hair from getting wet on non-wash days. And then the hair dryer, which could be anywhere from 40 to $70. So I think everything, all of these basics would be under $100 and you might already have some of these items to get started. So I definitely recommend playing with the basics first, getting to know your hair, getting to practice the different styling techniques before you invest in luxury items because you might not need all of them. You might discover there's only a few specialty items that you're interested in for your hair type or for the way that you like your hair to look, for the, the finish that you're looking for or for your lifestyle or if you travel, many different reasons. But it's good to practice with the basics first to find out what you really need and then you can invest and have fun shopping later when you're ready. So I hope this helps you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all your support. Thank you to all of our new subscribers. We will keep sending out some more curly hair inspiration, some curly hair tips and tricks, and of course, lots of different hairstyles. We love hair fashion with hair accessories and we're so glad to have you here with us. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe to let us know that you appreciate this type of content and if there's a particular curly hair topic that you're interested in, let me know whether it's styling dilemmas, hairstyle for a particular occasion. I love all the challenges so let me know.